Oh, so cute. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> They're so huge. We are here in the middle of Philly, loud Philadelphia, here at the Philadelphia Zoo. Gonna go inside and see some cool animals. Let's go check it out. Hi, how's it going? Hi. What is your name? I'm Tina. I'm a giraffe keeper here at the Philadelphia Zoo. Awesome. Well, nice to meet you. I can see that there's a lot of, lot of giraffe here. Well, so who do we have right here in front of us? <laughs> so right behind us is Abby. She's our 14 year old. And then over here we have B. And then um, on the other side is Stella. They are all females. Mm -hmm. Reticulated giraffes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're the tallest land mammals. Females like our three can grow 15 to 16 feet. Males can grow up to 18. They are herbivores, so they are strict plant eaters. Um, and then along with being super tall, their tongues are also about 18 inches long. Well, what do they use those long tongues for? <laughs> so they use them for uh, stripping leaves and bark off of trees. Mm -hmm. um, in the wild, they eat mostly acacia, um, mm -hmm. which is um, a plant that grows in their natural habitat in awesome. Africa. So I happened to, I mean, you mentioned the plants and I, I happened to see there was a somewhat bush over there, a, a, a hidden a hidden bush over there. Is, is that something that, that gets fed to the giraffe? Yep, um, so they eat a variety of brails. This is honeysuckle, um, mm -hmm. so it's a special brails for them. Is, the, our, our, is that what we're doing right now? Yep, okay. we're gonna feed them so, some brails. So can we, can we do that right now? Let's do it. I would love to do that right now. <laughs> So you want to have a really tight grip um, because they have super strong tongues and they will pull it out of your hand if you let them. Awesome. <laughs> I may have worked with a giraffe once or twice. <laughs> so I see there's a unique color to the to their tongue there. Can you can you explain what that tongue? Yeah. So means? their tongues are a darkish purpley color, um, mm -hmm. and that actually helps them protect them from sunburn. Um, so they spend a majority of their day browsing on trees, sticking those super long tongues out. So they are exposed to the sun all day long. Mm -hmm. And so that helps protect them. I love how they almost pinpoint each individual leaf once it gets down to the very last nub. I love giraffe breath. So I used to work with giraffe yeah. and I worked with them for, for quite a few years. And uh, I think the reason why I had to work with them was because I was tall. I think that's a requirement. Yeah, like, yeah, you're pretty tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've only been with them for a few months. Yeah. In those few months, what have you learned about their their personalities and things? Starting over here, Stella. Um, she's the oldest. She's about 23. Um, a little older for a giraffe, but they do live into their 30s under human care. Um, so she likes to take life a little slower as the older <laughs> ones do. Um, B, however, she's four years old. Um, she's in the middle here. She is full grown for a giraffe at this height. Um, but she is still pretty young. So they are social animals, just like you and I. Um, so they do learn from each other. So she will often be seen being a little more curious, checking things out and following around um, Abby and Stella a lot to learn from them and learn behavior from them. She seems a little, a little sassy. Yes, so uh -huh. she's still learning. Um, she's still learning her manners, as we like to say. Um, and she is larger than the other two, even though mm -hmm. she's younger. So she definitely uses that to her advantage. She doesn't mind reaching over the other two or, you know, shoving I, her I've, way I've in. I've noticed a little bit of, just a little bit of like, you know, kind of pushiness, like, hey, you know, and then like this, the ear, the ear shaking and the head, the head flicking. The other two are very patient with her. Yeah. Um, but they will teach her. Um, they will let her know She'll when learn. she's being a little too pushy. So how can you tell them apart? What are the what are the main things that help you tell them apart? So Abby here, um, right on the center of her chest, it kind of looks like a hoof mark. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then her mom Stella, um, she's in the back. She has um, what kind of looks like a teardrop in that spot. Oh cool. Um, B is significantly larger and lighter in color, um, mm -hmm. and her front patch is kind of like two crisscross triangles. Mm -hmm. uh, but she's also a lot larger. <laughs> what animals did you work with before? Uh, I worked with birds before giraffes, so a big difference going right. from some of the smallest uh, animals here at the zoo to the tallest. Yeah, so yeah, they are very different than birds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit taller. What kind of birds did you work with? Um, all of the ones here at the zoo. Um, so oh, everything. everything from our penguins to our smallest passerines, um, our turkey vultures, our flamingos. Do you know how much, how much, uh, this is completely not related to birds, but do you know how many, uh, how many leaves? A, a giraffe can, can eat in a day? I believe it's somewhere around 70 pounds mm -hmm. um, they can eat up to in the wild. Jeez, it's a lot of, it's a lot of leaves. It's a lot. Yeah, and that's called browsing? Yes. Browsing. That means that they are going around to trees, higher foliage, and pulling and stripping off the leaves. 
So the difference between way. browsing, browsing is up high in the, in the, in the trees. Yeah. And grazing, grazing is. Grazing is eating off the ground. Awesome. Um, these guys will opportunistically graze on grass around their exhibit or smaller plants, um, but for being as tall as they are. What does that look like? Is that a look a little awkward it does uh yeah so when these guys bend down um they can't really just bend down like other four-legged animals so what they'll usually do is they'll spread their front legs and kind of bend their necks all the way down so this area that we're in right now this is open to the public i mean as we were talking everyone was kind of just like staring at us awkwardly yeah so this yeah. is what we call our <laughs> giraffe feeding platform okay. where the guests can uh feed our giraffes browse uh typically acacia which is their natural diet in the wild um so unlike most uh, feeding experiences at zoos that feed them greens like lettuce um, we are sticking to a more natural diet um, because they will strip the leaves off of branches so that's exactly what you get to feed them here that's awesome no i love that so it's such a unique experience and to be able to just kind of walk up and oh wow there's giraffe feeding today let's go check that out yep mm -hmm. so that's awesome since you've only been with giraffes for a few months what do they mean to you? What do the animals in general mean to you as well? So every animal we work with here at the zoo is an ambassador for their wild counterpart. They're all individuals. Getting to know what they need as a species, but also what they need as an individual helps them live the best life they can and helps them do their job as being an ambassador for their uh, wild counterparts. Mm -hmm. So that's what they mean to me, uh, just giving them the best life and building bonds with them. So that's what keeps you coming back every day. Yep. <laughs> yeah. How long have you wanted to work with animals? So I wanted to work with animals my entire life. Um, I didn't always know it was going to be in the zoo setting. Um, and then uh, once I started here, I never left. Getting to know them as individuals, building that trust and building that relationship. Because that's what we do here every day. We do that through how we care for them. Um, we do that through training, learning them and what they as an individual like. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time. It seems like our giraffe friends have left, so I think that means I have to leave. It's not you, it's, it's me. So I will say goodbye. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Awesome, bye.